Let's make a lot of beds. Make a lot, a lot of beds. Oh, God. What have I done there? Oh, God. Everyone, I need help here because I am trapped inside this. Wait. What is this either way? Yep. It's just more crazy things that you can do in Minecraft 1.14. And I don't know what to say about this because this is apparently is working in Minecraft 1.14. But anyway, hello everyone, it's I Chatica here and welcome to Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play Survival and I keep changing the words around. I don't know. I kinda did a lot of things off sh camera. I actually have like let's see, like I have more cobbles than before. Not really much, but more wood in here you can see Never mind. <laughs> I've been using a lot of wood. I also created like a two signs, like my to do list. I need to create a villager form, which basically I will automatically keep breeding forms along place bed down. I want to make an AFK cobblestone form, which is basically I just sit there, just left click for days, and just like funding, bunny boom, get cobblestone. Uh, auto wheat form, basically, as long as it detects like, okay, it detects like the fully grown wheat, it will automatically pick it up for me and put it into a thing. I don't know how I'm going to do that. That's going to be interesting right there. We need to work on finishing this building here because this is supposed to be my house and everything. And the mining resources, I know there's a couple of caves that I want to explore. I will show you there's a new cave, but I haven't shown it on camera. And storage place, I want to actually have a dedicated storage place for like a lot of different things. Just to make it a lot easier to basically run around and store things than having this kind of set up. Just be awesome, that's all you have to do. I'm going a bit crazy with jungle. And also another thing I do off camera, I just placed bamboo everywhere uh, around the perimeter. And that took a really, really long time, especially like, I'm crazy with bamboo. Um, the little mini cave I found was, can I get through this? Oh god, it's like right about here. So I don't have it blocked off just because, just in case. So what I'm doing here, this is the villager farm that I want to do. And should, yeah, okay, he's fully good. So I'll do is place a bunch of beds, and I place two composting beds, I guess, place a bunch of weed everywhere, and that's supposed to how the farm's supposed to work. And villagers cannot open iron doors, so I did that for a reason. So yeah. Also another thing, I dropped a villager down here because I had three villagers in here before. I gotta take them out because I need to use them for breeding. I think um, what I'm gonna do today is build a villager farm. I think that's a, probably be the biggest project I'm working on. And probably make a lot of beds because I need a lot of beds to to make sure they can actually breed properly. Uh, where's my, okay, I can never find that for some reason. So we just need this, we need a bucket of water, and we need like a lot of seeds. Good thing we have a lot of seeds here. And we also need a composting bin, which, a composter. Cause that's how villagers will become farmers, and they will automatically pick up the wheat, make bread. That's all they. You better not walk out. That's why I made a double door security system right there. So if anyone walks out, I can just like push him back in here. So I need to place some water, uh, like underneath us, because it needs to be water here, and. I don't know what's the range of this gonna be because I gotta figure this out. Actually, it doesn't really matter if I put it here. I just realized that. Because composting bin will just take over the slots. So let's keep getting water, get infinite water source here. Mm, maybe we can also just do this. Okay, now I just gotta get this. Oh, now all I have to do is basically, uh, this is the quickest way to fix it. I wish this was a way to, uh, I don't have to keep resetting this stupid pathway. Cause this is a really, really annoying, and something is moving in water over there. But yeah, also I did clean up the area a little bit, like, I still haven't cleaned the infinite water sources yet. But I will eventually. As soon as they become far- yeah, now they're all farmers, which is really, really good. The only thing I have to do now is basically set up a wheat farm and I'd be good to go. I think I can do this range. So what is that? One, two, three, four. Because I calculated this perfectly to be like that. Also one, two, three, four. That's the range right there. So right about this is the pretty much could be the biggest farm ever. It's not the prettiest though. Like 
like you can see it's not pretty. But I just had to make this form. If I really need to extend this form out, I will stand towards that direction. And place a lot of beds. That's all I really need. That's the requirement is to place beds. I don't think you really need to do houses and everything. Let's go place a bunch of seeds. Also, this is going to be really nice for me in the end because if I really need to, I can always come back here and get more wheat. But I just need to make sure they're wheat farmers because they will make bread for themselves. And then when they make bread for themselves, they will um, basically you just need three breads for both villagers. And they will start like breeding after that. Um, what I'm also worried about right now is uh, them doing that because they can actually trample their own, over their own crops. Because villagers are sometimes dumb and they will trample all, all like that for example i need to fix that but first thing first is to oh they're not gonna have access to that bell oh they will i just make sure they dig 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 make sure they don't trample over the crops uh let's do that oh uh, uh, no come on come on no 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 oh no 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 don't go on now let's do that uh, let's get this. As long as they have access to this, they should be fine. I just need villagers to get, get off of this. And the problem is with the bell being there is not an ideal spot. Because they can't ring the bell. So I'm going to put the bell like right about here. Maybe they should be able to reach it. Hopefully. Back a little bit more of those. And now this should not be able to get up there. I may put composting bins here as well, like right here and there, just because it would be a good idea to do that. Um, I can actually send this water source all the way around and basically be like, hey, look at this place. This could be a breeding farm for them. And I probably need to stand backwards a little bit. So, yeah, I probably need to do that. Why are you following me? Can I trade with you? Oh, I don't have a composting bin for that person. That's fine. So I'm thinking about doing torching system like that. Um, okay. Da -da -da, da -da -da. I can't do that because the bell's in the way. I just need to have torches there just in case. I know the villagers are trying desperately to escape the area and make sure this area is lit up pretty well. Um, I think there's another problem I have here because I need to light up this. I don't think I need to. I think that should be enough. Is it enough? One, two, three. Mm, not really. I need to put torches in the other areas. I think it should be fine. Okay, so. Wait. Okay, so. Okay, 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 okay. So we got some wheat here. I can show you the basics of this. Let me create... Combine all of this wheat real quick to bread. And how about this? We need some wool. Let's make some beds. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we can make two beds. And I'll show you how. This is a really cool breeding form because all you have to do is create something simple like lock them in, in the area. Make sure they don't escape. And just place beds like this. And let me see. You don't have a profession. Um, 20 wheat. I want to trade with you for sure. Because this is easy wheat. Okay, so what I do here is like 1, 2, 3. Give them 3 bread. 1, 2, 3. Uh, what happened there? Now this should go into a loving mode. They'd have to go love because they'd be willing to, um... Breeding mode. I don't know how long it's going to take. And... See, you need a bed because they need to bind to a bed. So basically, I started with two. So two beds are bound right now. So two are currently available for to make more villages after that. And now they're on a cooldown because of that. And having a wheat form here is basically, it will be automated. So I don't have to ever, ever worry about that because they will do it by themselves. So that's going to be really nice. That's the whole point of the automated breeding flow. As long as you place enough beds, they will basically repopulate. It's, you don't really need to... Like, I remember the requirement back in the days was to build houses for them. Like, it can be 5x5 five five houses, 3x3 three three houses. It can be any size houses. As long as they're protected somehow. Now, you just need beds. 
which is really cool because I don't have to do much. I don't have to build houses to make this place span in place. All I just need is build beds and place in one spot. And if I really want villagers, I'm gonna have to find a way to push them all the way over here because I want villagers in my place. It's gonna be my training area, or I might move them to like a better training area since this is always stuck here anyway. I just kind of left them there. It's it's a really cool concept you can do in breeding form like that. And let's go shoot some sheep because we can make some more beds. And when we make more beds, I can keep breeding and over and over again. And then basically, I'm gonna try to push those villagers away from that place. I wonder if I can break the bed and basically reset it. Oh, how am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do this without like? How am I supposed to get out my for myself? Yeah, look at all those sheeps. Man, oh, I know how to get in, in and out. Okay. Oh yeah, another thing I I didn't mention in the beginning of the video is that I think I found a fix to my issue with the mobs not spawning. I realized you can actually use commands to say like you want to kill certain entities. And that's what I actually did. I went in, killed certain entities, like zombies, zombie pigment, everything. And it killed like a lot of entities, which I'm really surprised about. Like I killed probably over 40, 50 entities. And I think that should help. I don't know what you're doing right here. So we have a lot of wool now, so that's gonna be really nice because I can create a lot of, a lot of beds. And that's what I'm just gonna do. And let's make a lot of beds. Make a lot, a lot of beds. Oh god, what have I done there? What have I done? The only problem I'm gonna have is I'm not gonna have enough space. Let's move you up a bit. Like these two beds. I shouldn't re really reset them. All of this could bound them to a bed. Basically, I think no, they, I, I gotta be careful because they're gonna jump on that. Can you move, please? Please move so I can place your beds. <laughs> this is the most ugliest form ever. I'm not even joking with you. And keep placing these beds. They must have line of sight to these, like, they must have a path of travel to these beds to be able to breed. There we go. I made a lot of beds for them. I think that's a good way to do it. Except for the fact I need to span this backwards. That's all I have to do, span it backwards or span it aside. Make sure they have more access to more villagers. I think I can reset the beds. You know what, let's actually make this a little more prettier in a way. Cause that kind of looks awkward. I think this will work actually. As long as they have wheat now after that, they can actually breed. That's all they need to do now. I made too many beds now. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, I guess I can use a lady for more breeding some sheeps. Wait, no. Breeding some villagers. Uh, let's get shovel. Hi. Um. Oh, you're trying to escape. You know what I could do actually? If I really want small villagers to come out, go out, I can actually make a little hole for them because this should be within small range of the thing. You didn't go put a wheat back? Okay. So what I can do actually, uh, I might have to upgrade a bed or two, like two beds at least. Um, I can make like a little pathway down. Uh, now I can actually make more beds. I yeah, I can make more beds here. Oh, that looks ugly, so let's fix this a little bit more. Because it just looks ugly like that. <laughs> and all I have to do is basically right here, and just make a bed for him. Like, I put a torch here, so bed starts there. And all I have to do is put beds down. That's it. That's all there is to it, really. And that's pretty much the farm mechanic. It's placed a lot of beds that have access to. Which, I'm probably gonna do that because I want to keep bringing this farm, make a bunch of villagers. I need to put staircases here, 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 I think. And here. Okay. 
So make it like an interesting staircase going up. Uh, let's actually make some staircases so I can actually work on this. So it's like this. See, that's the problem, right? It's gonna be right there. Okay, let's move this bed over, I guess. Because I want to make it like look kind of neat in a way. And comfortable to get out, at least. They're gonna hit the head on this. Yeah, hey, wow. So look, now you can actually come down here, get up and down, which is gonna be nice for them. And I guess I can just make it more comfy for them, I guess. By just doing that. Which I need to work on that later. I I would keep working on this, but it's gonna take some time. I need to get some like half slabs there. So it doesn't look like <laughs> That's really interesting because maybe I can just put all half slabs here, I guess. It might work with just half slabs only. Maybe just underneath the beds, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I can do that. As long as they can... See, that's cool. I can have access to down there as well, but no. They need to have access to down here. Oh uh, no, let's actually just... How about this? Let's do this. And just basically walk down here. That's good. That's a good idea. That looks a lot more comfortable. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better for sure. And I'm starting to like this because I can place more beds. I'm going to move this crafting table because I don't... I don't think there's a crafting profession for crafting table. And they are mass populating. So if they ever get pushed in there, I can actually just have a safety backup. Make sure they don't leave. Or what I could do, I can have a ladder in and out. Basically, that's another way. I don't think they can climb ladders. But if they can climb ladders, I'll be really spooked about that because that would be like villagers. I didn't know you could climb ladders. <laughs> Something like that. But no, they shouldn't be able to climb ladders because that would just be Minecraft in a way. And villager would be like, oh, I'm going to run away from you, uh, zombie. Haha, -ha, I can do this. And do that and save myself from my impending doom. I don't want to put it, do that just yet. Okay. Well, okay, so my task for the day is completed because I made it a semi decent villager form and I showed you how to make it. Well, I kind of did a little bit, but I showed the basics of how. Stop it! You don't do that. You don't. You don't do that. It's really, really simple, actually. And I put a bell here in case, like, they're in, in trouble. They can rig the spell. And it makes it like, hey, protect me. Please protect me. P please protect me. But they should be mostly fine. Because they can't shoot across over this. They can shoot up there. But I have a... There's an iron golem just running around bells. And I have these little things, bamboo around, basically, make a whole path, path to travel around them. I don't believe spiders can climb them. I'm not sure. It's just... They have, they can see this, they can access this anytime they want. I might make two more composting bins, but I don't think so. Uh, I might just actually turn in this entire top side into a farm, but I don't think so. you really, you just don't really need to. And I'd rather just have beds up here so they can sleep. And I might actually cover the top with like, probably some kind of rooftop. That's probably my next goal. Pretty much, it's an easy way to make a lot of villagers. As long as you have an access as long as they have access to the bed or bound to that bed when they breed, or like a new bed, they will basically be able to breed. Again, that's really simple setup. I actually like looked this up how to build a villager form because I was like, how do I get more villager? I back in the day, I'm so used to the old days of Minecraft, where you just build a bunch of houses and they will just kind of breed themselves without doing anything. And now doing this setup was like one of the best ways. I gotta figure out which bed they're in. And push him out, but that's gonna be a pain. Of, that's gonna be a bigger problem. But it doesn't really matter what I do. The more likely it will be fine. The only thing I can think I can really do is like possibly break the bed and push out the one I want to push out. Can I put him in mine cards and be like, "Zoom, you're going right here now." I think I can do that because I, that's how she said multiple villages and like um like professions or whatever. 
Alright everyone, if you like watching this episode so far, consider subscribing for more content like this and ring that bell so you can notify when I upload new videos. If you don't ring that bell and you don't set your notification to all, YouTube will not notify you when I upload new videos and you know how YouTube can be. Just make sure you ring that bell, click all for notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos on the spot. Like this video because I did a cool form over there that some of you will be interested to actually do in your own Let's Play series or your own survival world. Thank you for watching, it's very much appreciated and I love you all for your support and you know. Uh, goodbye everyone. Such a terrible outro.